Hello, Pisces. Thank you for tuning into my channel. I definitely appreciate all the love and support. And I send it right back to you guys. Please be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel and leave a comment. This reading resonates. With that being said, let's go ahead and see what messages are coming through for you guys at this time. <clears throat> Sphere of love and light, truth and clarity. What messages do you have for a sign of Pisces? Please and thank you. Messages for a sign of Pisces. Overall, I see you definitely being happy with the way things are going in your life. Like, you're happy with the things that you are achieving in life. Because <clears throat> I see you at this place. Even some of you guys may, like, a disconnect from several friends. But you feel like you're doing very well on your own. And you're really happy just in general with where you're headed. I'm definitely getting... So, you have this King of Swords energy coming through here. And I'm getting that this is someone that's interested in you. And this person is kind of like going back and forth in their head. They're not sure whether you're interest, interested in them or not. I'm also getting like this energy coming from this person where they're not sure if they're even good enough to be with you. And the crazy part is I do get that this is someone who is successful because they're in this king energy. But they're still looking at you like... I don't like you have way bigger as like you have bigger aspirations in life than they do aspirations <laughs> oh lord yeah because i definitely see like i don't get that you're intentionally trying to dismiss someone but i definitely am getting this energy coming from you where you have your mind set on different things like you have um your mind set on some goals here so someone who's trying to get your attention they may feel like their attempts to get your attention have been like dismissed but really you just have i'm sorry my son's taking a shower but really you just have your mind set on different things your challenge here is the hangman Either you're saying to yourself, you don't want to stay in a particular situation anymore. Like you could be looking at um, your current circumstances and you're saying to yourself, you don't want to see yourself in this situation next year. And things could be going well for you, but you may not feel like you're as financially stable as you would like to be. There is definitely something that you want to change here. Like you, you want to get unstuck out of something. You feel like you sacrifice enough of something. You sacrifice enough of yourself for something i don't know it's like something here that you're fed up with and you're um figuring out how to break free of a particular situation or cycle in general now i'm not getting that this um the strength in reverse is your energy <clears throat> Let's see, I want to clarify this. Why the strength in reverse? Well, I guess, because um, I am getting that with the eight of swords in reverse and then you got the two of swords in reverse so there's definitely some sort of decision that you're needing to make but it looks like you're lacking the confidence to make it so you're needing to get out of your head to make some sort of decision but part of the issue is you're not sure if you're capable of doing something or making something happen it's like you may because I'm getting like you have your mind set on something achieving something here and even though it's like you're happy but some of y'all, you still battle with this negative thought within your head. And I'm getting that it was placed within your spirit from other people. And it's still something that you find yourself battling with. And it's really, it's like you've had people tell you that, sh like, who are you to think that you're able to do something? Or if you will share your um, dreams, your goals with certain people, they will just kind of laugh about it or talk down to you like, do you really think that you're capable of doing something? Because your advice being the nine of wands, you're being advised to push through a situation. You may not feel like you um, have the fight left in you to make something happen, but you definitely have it. 
you definitely are more than capable of making something happen here. So the crazy part is so Pisces is, is that I don't I'm getting like you you have like this strong internal battle going on here because you got a energy of you know what you want, you know what you um are headed towards in life, but then you also find yourself from time to time battling with the thoughts of you're not capable of doing something. And um, I definitely get that like you reach that point from time to time and you just are saying, I don't have it. Like I don't have the strength within me to keep trying to fight against all of these people trying to come at me. I don't, you know, it's like you may constantly feel like you're under attack and you're at this point where it's like, how am I supposed to make these things happen when I just have these people constantly trying to come at me with the nonsense? So there, uh, but the message here for you guys is not to allow people like that to get to you. Even though like you may feel like you're constantly under attack by some people here, don't allow these people to stop you from making something happen because you're more than capable of doing it. So they want you to just push through. And I know that is difficult. Um, let me see. I want to dive into this King of Swords energy. Now, with your energy, they are wanting you to be strategic to make sure that you're thinking through uh, before you take thinking um, thinking things through before you take action towards something here. And on top of this, like really embrace the time that you have to yourself. I do get that you guys will be socializing more, but it's also going to be important for you to uh, maintain a sense of independence here, so you can like find that space where you can think clearly about what are you going to do next? What are your next actions going to be? So they're wanting you to take more of a logical and practical approach towards something here. Now, as far as a person, I do see someone like really trying to be strategic about how they're going to approach the situation between you and them. Um, Because I'm also getting like this person may want to ask people for advice, but they're not sure whether they should or not. Whether it's better for them to just keep this to themselves and just approach you on their own. In the high priestess. Okay, so I'm, some of y'all have someone who's interested in you. And this person, it looks like they already asked someone for advice. And the person that they asked advice from basically was telling them that you don't have good intention good intentions towards them it's like they convinced this person that either you don't have good intentions towards them or you wouldn't have good intentions towards them they're basically trying to say you don't have good intentions uh because the person that they asked has the page of source energy so this person knew what they were doing when they started saying all these negative things about you they were intentionally saying things to this person to discourage them from taking action towards you Let's see, what is, what is their action? Do they believe what this person was saying? What action does uh, this person plan on taking? Oh, they still plan on... Why are the Ace of Cups in reverse? Oh, but... Uh, see, that's the thing. Because the Chariot energy coming through. Um, why is the Ace of Cups in reverse? Oh, so this person plans on bossing up and taking action towards you. They do. Because they're looking at this situation as like a wise investment. Like they definitely see themselves being happy with you in the long run. They definitely see that this will be worth their time. And it looks like they said, because I'm getting that when they made a decision not to offer their love to you because they took this person's advice, they really regretted it. And they find themselves like bowling over with their emotions for you. Um, but it's like during this time, they kept going back and forth and like really trying to consider whether they should approach you or not with an offer for a relationship because they're looking at this situation like, um, would it be worth me investing in? And it's like, ultimately, they're coming to the conclusion that it is worth their time. It's worth their effort. So I do see this person bossing up and coming towards you. They're a very wise individual as well. And this is someone who's very traditional. 
if you're this masculine energy, then you are this very traditional person. Like you want that traditional type of home. Um, you want someone to uh, come home to. And I'm getting that you're definitely a hard worker and you're very wise and very understanding as well. But I am getting like this provider type of energy, someone who will do anything for you. Um, they just want to see you happy because you make them happy as well. So. Okay, what is this about? Um, for my Pisces who's in a relationship, to be honest, I don't see this relationship going anywhere. Um, and I'm getting that you're already in this energy of like saying that you are better off without this person being in your life. Like you're realizing the things that you that you sacrifice in order to stay in a relationship with someone to make someone else happy and seems like you're kind of just neglecting yourself in the process i am getting that you have like some goals some dreams here that you're planning on taking action towards um but first like you're acknowledging like some type of karmic uh pattern some type of like karmic lesson that you're meant to take out of this uh relationship I don't get that you're staying with this person. I'm getting that you're at this place where you're just fed up with things. Oh, okay. Why? Um, so whoever you're in separation from, Pisces, I'm getting that you are not expecting this person to take action towards you at all. Like the energy that I'm getting coming from you is like, yeah, this person will never take action towards me. But to your surprise, I see this person coming towards you and wanting to um, gain some sort of understanding as to why things fell apart or to give you some sort of understanding and clarity as to why things fell apart and they acted a certain way. I do see you seeing this uh, meeting up with this person again. Let's see where things could possibly go. Yeah, because they're definitely missing you. Let me see. <clears throat> Sorry, Pisces. So this will not be the person. Um, <laughs> so they're showing me that you're going to be ignoring this person. Quite possibly the reason why you'll end up ignoring this person is because someone new has already entered your life or by the time they come back around, someone new has already entered your life. And this is someone that's going to make you feel completely safe. This is someone that you will be falling head over heels in love for. So... Um, I do see this person coming back towards you, but I see you ignoring them. Like, if they were to reach out to you through your phone, social media, I don't even see you meeting up with this person, to be honest, because I see you just ignoring um, their advances towards you. So, for my single Pisces, it looks like you will be meeting a soulmate here shortly. You'll know because there will be this insane chemistry between you and this person. You will find this person extremely attractive and they will find you attractive as well. <laughs> so it looks like this uh, relationship, for one, I see the two of you having an amazing time together. 
And I definitely see you taking things slow with this person because you're allowing yourself to develop a friendship before you jump into any sort of relationship with them. But I do see you finally getting to a point where you can trust this person and then the, uh, the relationship begins. But I don't see you rushing into a relationship with them. I see you just completely enjoying your time with this person and taking things slow. So whoever you're crushing on, it looks like they're about to, I'm getting that this person feels like, and some of you guys, this is going back to the initial spread, but I'm getting that this is someone who has already tried to make advances towards you and they feel like they, uh, <clears throat> their advances was rejected. So this person is about to try like a more playful approach. They may feel like they were coming across a little too strong or too serious I'm getting that they're going to try to approach you being a little bit more playful. They want you to see their fun side. So I don't know like what type of environment the two of you are in when you're around each other or how you guys met, but I definitely see this person continuing to make advances towards you, but they're just going to try a different approach. So if you are concerned about the, if you are concerned or questioning whether this person just gave up on this, they haven't. They've just been trying to rethink their approach towards this uh, relationship with you. Whew, love. I don't know why. So, new love. It looks like you guys will have... Um, now, I'm going to dive a little deeper into this because with new love, we have someone bluffing about the way they feel about you and stalking you on social media some of y'all could meet someone and this person is kind of like rude towards you in person but then they're like secretly obsessing over you it's i'm not getting that this is someone that you will end up being in a relationship in but it's definitely a new love interest coming towards you you may find them a little attractive but it's like their attitude is going to be the thing that ruins this connection Let's see. Now, if marriage comes out, I don't know what the hell is wrong with y'all. Let me see. No, I, I don't see because I, I'm definitely seeing that you're looking at this person like, okay, the way that they've acted towards you is a big turnoff and a red flag. So I definitely see like, okay, you just ignoring this person and just waiting for the right person to come towards you. I don't see um, my, my single Pisces who, who are waiting for a new love. I don't see you rushing into anything. I see you being very patient and just wanting the right connection just in general. You want the right person. You don't want to sit around and entertain any foolishness. Like, wait a second. Contemplation. So y'all are thinking over some things. Trying. I I definitely was getting that energy coming from you guys. Like. Uh, thinking over things, trying to think some things through. Deep knowing in no place like home. I'm really getting like you guys are just, I'm getting that you're in this place of just like really how can I explain this? You're, you're taking your approach. It, I'm getting like a Pisces who's trying to figure out what do they really want? Like, where do they see themselves in the future? But I'm not getting this. You're looking at like, okay, next 10 years from now, you're looking at like the long, long road ahead. Like you're You're really trying to think some things through. Let's see. Someone look up this number. Okay. 
new cycles. Accept and adapt. The natural order of things has changed and your angels are alerting you to the new cycles beginning presently. And I definitely get that energy coming from you guys. Um, I'm getting that you are realizing that a new cycle is beginning in your life. But I'm definitely getting that like your approach towards this new cycle is much different than how you used to approach things in the past. You are being encouraged to work on acceptance of what is and focus on ability or adaptability rather than seeing this change as a setback. Repeat the mantra, I am adaptable. Let me see. So contemplation, within you, there is a question arising. When you get the question, write the answer. Hold on. When you get the question right, the answer will be self-evident. But you have to plunge your consciousness deep within to find the right question. To articulate it clearly, understand what it is that you are really asking. That question within you is actually a divine gift of, of awakening. It is your future awaken, self-awakening to be found and calling you and calling to you too. Let the question arise through dreams, dance, meditation, sleep, yoga, time in nature, swimming in the ocean, bathing and aromatherapy in an aromatherapy bath or receiving a hot stone massage. The question holds within is the next unfolding petal of the lotus of your being. This oracle brings you invitations to enter into the mystery of your life and your being and allow and to allow the biggest question you can summon to emerge from your heart. And to be expressed through love, your question may emerge as clear and shining or soft and yielding a question with no words, only feeling. Whatever truth emerges, let that be your contemplation. In response to that question, the next step four will unfold before you revealed in perfect clarity and perfect timing. This oracle brings you a message from your own divine nature. Come sit with me and breathe. I want to ask you something. I want you, I want you to ask me something. Together, there is a conversation that we are to have now, and there will be beautiful accord between us that overflows into all of your relationships, bringing more understanding and peace. Some of y'all may be seeking understanding as well with some relationships that you have too. Whatever you're searching, like you already have the answers to and I really get that you know that too. Some of y'all, it's like you don't, like you're not as stable as you would like or you, even if like you have the home, you have this, you have that, you're still not where you want to be and that's why like as this new cycle is approaching in your life you're taking it really serious because you want to make sure that you make the right choices this time so that's why some of y'all are a little hesitant because you feel like um am i really capable of making the right decisions because you feel like you messed up so many times before but I know that you know that you're more than capable of making the right decisions, of making something happen for yourself. But I definitely am getting like, there's a little frustration here as well. So know that you have an ability to read between the lines and find all the truth that was missing when the story was told. This deep knowing allows you open the door allows you to open the door to wisdom far greater than what is available in the limitations of human expectation. The trick is to listen and then act accordingly. Tune in and trust your vibes, asking you will receive answers from unusual sources. There are occasions when you just know. And someone could play a meaningful role in your life or you guys will be doing this to someone else. Some of y'all will, um, cause I'm also getting a reconciliation taking place for someone here. And some of y'all may be questioning whether you can trust this person this time around. Cause I'm getting like, 
you have someone trying to prove themselves to you, like someone coming back, and I do get that this person has really changed. Like, I'm getting that they've been through um, a lot of things since the two of you have last seen each other. But I, I definitely am getting that this is going to be a really difficult decision for you to make. The thing is, it's like with no place like home, I am getting that this person, like when you think of this person, they're the only one that you can actually see yourself living with, uh, spending the rest of your life with. I'm not getting that you get those vibes from anyone else. But I'm not sure what happened between you and this person, but I'm getting that they really disappointed you. And... I'm getting that you're a very confident person and it goes against everything that you believe in to give this person a second chance. But it's like seeing this person again is just like reigniting all of those feelings that you have for them. So it's, Yeah, you got to trust yourself and feel at home in your own skin. It's beginning to uh, solidify as you calm your dignity and integrity aspects of yourself. No one can take away from you. You know who you are. You hold your head high, yet with neither pride nor humility. So, I'm really getting that they, it's just, you know who you are. You know what you want. And if you see this person and you feel like they're just feeding you some BS, like you'll know within. Then trust yourself. Trust that gut feeling that you receive when you meet this person again. Um, or some of you guys, like you could meet someone new. Like this could be someone completely new. But I do see a conversation taking place between you and someone. But it looks like you'll be struggling Um with like the question whether you can trust this person or not. And some of you guys, it's just because they remind you of someone that you dated in the past that really disappointed you, or this is someone that you did date in the past that really disappointed you. And like, despite this person coming towards you and you can clearly see that they change, you're still going to find yourself struggling to believe whether you can trust this person or not. They want you to just trust yourself. And that's the most important key. And that's where, you, that's where you will find your solution. So I'm going to leave it there. These are the messages that came through for you guys at this time. Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment. This reading resonates. But with that being said, you all take care.